Hey, what's happening, YouTube? DW on here. Um, this is my barbed wire tutorial. Um, I also decided to put some music on in the background to make this video a little less boring. Okay, well, all you need to make good barbed wire is paper clips. Now, they don't have they don't have to be the big ones, the big average kind. They could be the tiny ones too. It doesn't really matter the size. It's just it only matters if they're steel and silver, just like this, like a regular paper clip. Now, I recommend taking about 10, that'll get you like one good line. Here's an example of what the barbed bar wire looks like after it's all done. If you want to get a better look at that ring, uh, there's a video in the description. Uh, the ring looks way better in person, it doesn't look very really well on the camera. Oops, just dropped the paper clip. Anyways, um, yeah. Um, so let's get started. So, to make barbed wire, you just need paper clips, and yeah. Uh, you gotta straight, you gotta straighten them out, and like I said, uh, take about 10 at a time, but before I recorded this video, I already straightened some out, as you can see. So, yeah, straighten the paper clip out, since it's already straightened it out. Then you wanna put it, these two together, like this, and then just keep twisting. Now see, because doesn't that kind of look like barbed wire? You want to keep going. You want to be careful with this because you could get cut on this. Make sure the line is as straight as possible. You want to twist it in really well. This may take a while depending on how much you, you're going to use. Also, happy Martin Luther King Day. Sorry if you don't like this type of music, this is just the type of music I listen to. And if you want to know what song this is, this is The Black Veil Brides. I believe this song is called Perfect Weapon. I'm using Pandora right now. See? Interesting. And after a while, like the more you use, the bigger the line gets, obviously. And it looks way better after a while. So, yeah. Twist the paper clips in. It's very simple once you think about it. It's not as easy as it looks in real life because sometimes you get like you bend the barbed wire and stuff. Well, anyways, yeah, you want to keep going. I'm gonna twist all these ones that I've already straightened out. It can be frustrating if you don't get it right, but you get better over time. I didn't do that one very well. See, it's starting to look way better now. And after you get a line that you feel is good enough, you could wrap it around like a table or a chair or something. And make it even more extreme. Sounds like my chemical romance. Now the barbed wire is starting to come out really, really well. This barbed wire ring took me like two and a half hours to make. 
But it's, in my personal opinion, it's the best custom that I've ever done. And in real life, this looks really realistic, believe me. Really hope this helps you out, but be careful because you might get cut on this once again. Okay, there we go. All done with the ones I already straightened out. I got about this much done. I'd say that's pretty good. And yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.